Thought I'd do a quick video of some hackery in progress with this uh, RDA 1846 uh, uh, transceiver on a chip. Um, I'd actually seen this uh, uh, chip on um, uh, EV blog a while back um, where uh, there was a tear apart of, uh, of, of a radio that had this chip in it. So the, the popular Baofeng radios have this, uh, have this chip and it's basically a complete transceiver uh, for uh, uh, two meters, 70 centimeters, uh, all ready to go. All you have to do is put a, an antenna on it to hook it up to microphone, amplifier and speaker and, and you're good to go. So I thought it'd be a good thing to, to, to play around with it and see if I can get it working. Um, and uh, let me just pan over to kind of the circuit I got here and I'll explain. Oh, to, to cut to the chase, I haven't got it working yet, but uh, but uh, I'll explain what's, uh, what's going on at least and then we'll... Uh, We'll take it from there. Excuse me while I get this set up. All right, so so basically um, this is a, a Mega 2560 Arduino that I have uh, that I'm using to uh, control the, the chip. Here's the chip itself down here. Note that it's a uh, QFN32 package, so uh, no leads. Um, you really have to use a, a hot air gun and solder paste to to get it on a, a breakout board, which uh, this is a breakout board separately. I'll include links to all the bits and pieces here if anyone's interested in uh, in uh, in following along. So the other thing that I that I have to get on here is this. This is actually a 3.3 volt uh, uh, based um, IC. Uh, so this thing here uh, is just a simple level shifter that shifts the SDA and S SCL signals between 3.3 volts and 5 volts. So you can see here, this is a five volt board. Um, SCA and SDL is coming out here. And then this is the five volt side of the level shifter. This is the three volt side of the level shifter. So that's what's going on. Um, and obviously on the uh, on the IC itself, and let, let me just pan over to uh, um, to an application diagram that they have in the, in the instructions. And, and I'll include links to all this. So, so basically, um, uh, you have uh, about four or five uh, VDD uh, that you have to hook up. So that's that's all at 3.3 volts. So we've got one, four, um, there's another one here, another one here, another one here. Um, so they're all hooked up to 3.3 volts. You have to uh, include a crystal uh, also in here that uh, the, uh, the IC uses. I've actually got a 12 megahertz crystal in at the moment, and that might be part of the problem, which I'll, which I'll show you later on. Uh, I haven't got uh, uh, I haven't got a, a RFPA on there, so a speaker and microphone. I just wanted to probe around on the IC, make sure I can send uh, the signals over I two C to it, make sure I can get responses back, and you know I'm I'm getting that, but uh, but but more to come there. So uh, just back to the to the circuit for a moment. Just uh, here's the 12 megahertz crystal I'm using, some capacitors to ground there. Uh, and here's all the uh, the power in lines and um, uh, and uh, and do note that this uh, this IC doesn't have any uh, any ground pins. It's actually grounded uh, on the uh, uh, on the substrate underneath the, the pin it the, underneath the chip itself. So if you're going to get the breakout boards, make sure you get the breakout boards that have the uh, that have the grounding pad there. Uh, I first. Uh, got some breakout boards for this that didn't have the grounding pad, and then I sort of uh, was at a loss to uh, to, to basically uh, figure out a way to ground it. So anyway, uh, moving over to uh, to the actual um, uh, moving over to the actual uh, Arduino IDE here. Um, so let's um, one of the things that has been really helpful in this, and again, I'll provide links to all this below, is there's a couple of guys that have uh, blazed the trail on this uh, uh, on this hackery. Uh, one of them uh, has a Git repo where there's all the, there's a library that you can control the uh, uh, the IC, and then there's another gentleman who uh, did a whole pile of hackery using a Baofeng uh, UV. U5V, I think it was, uh, and uh, he basically uh, uh, he basically sort of divined all the uh, all the initialization parameters. So so anyway, like I said, I'll include links below to the um, um, links below to the um, uh, to the library and the uh, the other gentleman's site. So 
So basically I'm using this library um, and all I'm doing is some simple initialization here, uh, dumping out the registers that are, that are on the RDA uh, itself. Uh, and then I'm attempting to uh, set the reference clock, uh, which is that crystal that I mentioned. So this is uh, setting it to uh, 12 megahertz. And then I'm attempting to set the frequency uh, and that's where it starts to go wrong. So, so let me just uh, um, move over to the serial output so you can see that for yourself. I'll reset the, uh, uh, I'll reset it. So you can see the first set was the uh, initialization parameters that it's sending. And uh, so part of it's working, part of it's not working. So. I'm able to actually, uh, so here, here are all the register values down here. And um, uh, for example, 2B is the register that holds the, uh, the, clock, uh, the, 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 the clock frequency. Um, so that's being set correctly. But these two registers, 29 and 2A, are supposed to contain the frequency that I set. And it's not uh, containing that at all. Uh, in fact, it doesn't matter what I try to poke into these registers, uh, nothing happens. Um, so not quite sure um, uh, what's going on. I've still got some, uh, I've just still got some avenues of debugging and not quite exhausted them yet. One of the things, the next thing I'm going to try is I've been using a 12 megahertz crystal in there. The, the documentation seems to indicate that you have to use a 12.8 or a 25.6 or a 13 and a 26. And I'm not really sure that would make much difference. And I've, I haven't seen a sort of, there's no solid reference in the documentation that says you have to use those multiples of uh, the, 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 those particular crystals. And I've seen applications elsewhere. So I'm not sure, but anyway, I'm gonna see if I can source a 12.8 megahertz crystal to rule that out. Uh, let me go through some of the other things I've, uh, I've actually tried as well. Um, so, um, the library itself, um, when it's setting the frequency, you have to s set the band and the frequency as well. So there's a band that has the two meter band, the 70 centimeter band. So there's a register that holds that. I tried setting that first before the frequency. I didn't make any difference at all. Um, I tried changing, there's a mode in there uh, that basically has a whole pile of, of switches that govern the behavior of the IC. I, I fiddled around with that a bit, uh, no luck there. Um, and, uh, you know, like I said, it's setting some of these registers, but, but not others. Um, I did uh, play around with it. There is actually a PDN. Uh, let, me, let me just move back to the, uh, to the uh, description here. So if I pan down here, so this documentation here covers uh, covers all the all the pins here. So there's this PDN pin. Uh, let me find it again. So this PDN pin here uh, it sets the IC into a deep sleep mode to save battery. So I tried changing that to high. I tried changing it to low. No effect there. Um, and that's where I am basically. So uh, I don't know, there might be another video on this if I can get it working or, uh, or there might not be. Uh, I guess we'll have to see. Uh, but anyway, I thought people might be interested in this, uh, in this hackery. That's all for now.